Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 25th of January 1890 at 3:51 p.m., American journalist Nellie Bly arrived in New Jersey after completing a 72-day, 24,899-mile journey around the world. Born in 1864, Elizabeth Jane Cochran adopted the pseudonym Nellie Bly after securing a position as a journalist at the Pittsburgh Dispatch. However, she quickly became frustrated at being forced to write bland stories for the so-called women's pages, and instead headed to New York. While working in the city, she proved herself to be a formidable investigative journalist after posing as a mental patient in order to report on the brutal and neglectful conditions inside the local women's lunatic asylum. Jules Verne's novel Around the World in 80 Days had been published in 1873, and Bly came up with the idea to undertake a circumnavigation of the globe in an attempt to turn it into fact. In 1888, she met with John A. Cockerell, the managing editor of the New York World, and suggested that she should circumnavigate the world herself. She battled with the newspaper's senior executives for over a year, as they preferred to send a man instead. She responded by telling them to start the man, and I'll start the same day for some other newspaper, and beat him. Eventually, the board gave in. With £200 in English gold and banknotes and a single bag that was smaller than modern carry-on luggage, Bly departed from New Jersey on board the Augusta Victoria steamship on the 14th of November 1889. Bly sent short reports to the newspaper by cable throughout her journey, while the full account of her circumnavigation was later published as the book Around the World in 72 Days.